Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be... We've got a new project car. <laughs> so yes, as you can see, we've got a bit of a restoration project uh, going to be starting soon. Um, the car itself is a 1956 Morris Minor. Um, yeah, the, the, the reason we've got this is my, it was my dad's first car and he's turning 63 on Thursday, so... Whenever this gets released, you'll it'll be it would be 63 by now, and he's always wanted to get a get one. So we found this little beauty. It's a it's in a interesting condition. However, sort of in terms of it structurally, it's pretty perfect. There's a little bit of sort of things that you know don't look pretty, but they're not too bad. There's a bit of a dent on the bonnet, but because these are all single skinned, it will come out quite easily. A little bit of rust on the outside of the seal, but the actual whole part of the seal is pretty perfect. Which makes you, yeah, so a bit of rust on there. We've got a flat on the other side, so it was a bit of fun to push in. Do itself, has got a little bit of rust on the edge of the lid. And down there, I'm not sure if you can see, but we can see daylight through it. But we've got a spare wheel, a little bit of rust that's already fallen off. Back seat there with some headlamps. For a car that is 40, 50, about 50 odd years old, um, it's in pretty good condition. It doesn't actually run at the moment because it's been sitting for about 20 years. Um, but if you have owned this car, let us know because we want to find out a bit more of the history. We, uh, from the person we brought it from, it was uh, just a, a classic car seller. He said that it was found in a garage. Um, the reason there is no glass in the windows is because there was a family argument and that family argument got a little bit out of hand and they decided to smash the windows which is fun but the car itself um, it's in pretty reasonable condition for the age and we're just going to work through get it all um, back up to a lovely condition and back up running so I'm not sure how much of it we will film um, but we'll film bits of it the important bits uh, like getting the engine running and everything like that the gearbox itself we know runs, the engine will turn over, so we're not sort of buying a car that is completely uh, lemoned. But yeah, we're really happy with it to be honest. The interior does need some work. Um, you've got rips in the seats, but that seat's pretty reasonable to be honest. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take everything out of the inside and um, get it all out of the way, cleaned up, then get the engine up and running. What's remarkable about these cars is just how simple they are, if I'm honest, not like this beautiful car here. You know, this can be uh, stopped working by a sensor in the wheels or a sensor somewhere else, so that'll just stop the car working. This will probably run with three wheels on it. Yeah, so this will just do what it wants. No ECUs, good old uh, carburetor engines. We'll get the picture of the engine in a minute. But yeah, to be fair, um, I can understand why he wants it. Fuck it out. These doors are very, very heavy. But we'll get into the passenger side. I saw meant to make that noise. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a discovery and find out what's what's happened. You know, there's your dial. Look at the size of that steering wheel. Gorgeous. But yeah. I can imagine my dad. Back in the day, sitting along, trundling along in this car. Um, yeah, and I just really hope that he's, he's really happy with it. And as I say, you know, all this carpet and stuff's got to come out. But, you know, carpet down there. And... But yeah, the first thing we're going to do is tear everything out. Get the door sorted, get the glass in. And what's remarkable is how cheap parts are for these cars. You know, new glass, new windows, 15 quid each. Thankfully we don't need any split screens, but we're going to need some more rubber to go around the edge. About four quid. The actual um, uh, skirts and arches just unscrew from the main body. How ridiculous is that? Could you imagine a car like that where you can just fucking... Now you've got to get all these magical clips behind and you break one of the clips, you've got to pay £10 to get the clip fixed. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, we're looking at just getting it all cleaned up. Colour scheme is going to be black and red. Uh, primarily and then bits of chrome obviously underneath hopefully you can see it's not in the worst condition 
but we're gonna get under and seal everything. Uh, this door don't work, as you can see. Oh, and those pedals. No heel toe there, is it? Um, and we want that should hopefully let us pop the bonnet. And we will roll it onto there eventually just so we can work on it a bit easier. And then. So after about 40 minutes and lots of WD-40 and lots of swearing, we are interiorless. Um, you can see there's actually pretty good condition. Can't see daylight much. You can see a little bit of daylight through there. But overall, a little bit of daylight through there. Hopefully you can see, yeah, a little bit of daylight through there. But it's all out. Yeah. So that's the interior out and the door cards off as well. What's really good is the mechanism on the windows still works fine. The doors, handles working pretty fine. Boot, we've not attempted that yet, but we'll do that in a minute. But yeah, going well, going really well. Um, only broke two bolts, which is a result because I was expecting a lot more. Um, but yeah, the, the dent on the front is absolutely solid. So you can see it here, because it's all single um, steel or single skin, you just hit it and it'll come through. So, but that's once we've got it running. The engine does turn over, so that's good news. And um, it's gonna need a big clean, but the uh, overall plan, gonna have red rocker cover, black block, red tubing, black everything else, nice bit of chrome accents. It's gonna look really, really good. So let's see how it keeps going. So it could be a lot worse, um, if I'm honest. We've got a little hole here, a uh, little bit of holes here, but... All in all. All in all, it's uh, pretty good actually. What I find pretty ridiculous is how you've just got these cables running straight through. That's mental. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to sort out rewiring it, I think. Yeah, we'll do it all safely. Mm -hmm. We've got enough wire anyway laying around. Um, that's probably gonna be replaced. That seems pretty solid at the moment though. Drop the fuel tank out and all that sort of stuff. That's gonna come later on in a different episode. But the car is now completely stripped. And I'm gonna say the doors are all working properly now. You know, the, uh, they actually open and close, which they didn't do beforehand. Um, glass and stuff just needs to be ordered. Yeah, if, if you do find any more history on the car though, do send it through, because it's nice to find out all the different stuff. But apparently it's only had one proper owner, brought from new. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get it up and running soon but it's going really well. So after a morning of work, we are nothing with the engine bay. However, we literally have no insides now. Um, 
Yeah. Got a little bit of damage down there. A couple of daylights there, but all in all, a 1600 quid. Not gonna complain. Um, the next bit to do is just scrape everything out the bottom. Doors work properly now. Ooh. Ish. Yeah, scrape all of this crap out the bottom. See what we're left with. Hoping there's no major holes. You can see where we've had a little bit of work done before. But, yeah, scrape everything out. All the glass that got smashed by the angry cousin, I think it was, or something. Really, really looking forward to uh, getting this all sorted. It's going to take a bit of time, but we're not going to complain, and it's doing really, really well. So if you have enjoyed the video, please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. We're going to have some more videos over here. Obviously, this is probably going to come a little project to the series, but we'll film what we can. I don't know how much we're going to film, how much we'll be interested in. Um, let us know if you do want to see more, and we can do that. Other than that, have a lovely day, and see you all a bit later.